Hey. It's too bad I couldn't spend more time at OSU because last time I was there, that video got views. I knew that I had to vlog today because every time he's in a vlog, the views go up. So if the views don't go up for this one, I don't know what's going on. It's not good. But we're actually heading to Portland. <laughs> Okay, this vlog has been a mess so far. I'll see you in the morning. All right, see ya, thanks for making breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, I just have you come over, you make breakfast and you leave. You should do this every Saturday. <laughs> I would do that every Saturday. Thank you PJ for making me breakfast. Now I'm off to go do some things today. I'm not sure exactly what I'll vlog, what I won't. Also, I changed like a few of the settings on the autofocus, so hopefully uh, it changes something. I don't know. I won't see until I'm editing this, so if it's all out of focus. Bruh. That sucks. <clears throat> This vlog has been an absolute mess. I've vlogged basically the morning now of the three days of this weekend, Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. I mean, Friday and today have been kind of more afternoonish. It's been a complete mess and this vlog is basically over, but before it's over, I wanted to address what happened this morning as of the time that I'm filming this vlog, not when it comes out. Um, as you all know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter died in a helicopter accident. And I just wanted to say something about it really quick. I I was never a crazy fan of Kobe. He was not my favorite NBA player. I I just I just had respect for him, just like everyone else that ever knew about him did, which is basically everyone. And so what I'm saying is that it's sad not only for NBA fans, not only for Kobe Bryant fans, but for everyone to see a tragedy like this happen. And so my thoughts and prayers are for him and his family, and I know all of you guys are thinking and praying about them as well, but it's a true tragedy because he was a man that, even for people like me, that I wasn't infatuated with him or anything. I just had this crazy respect for his mentality, for his love for basketball, his love for his family, and just the impact he had on the country, our country, and the world. So it's a truly sad thing for whoever it is, whether you're whether you're a Kobe Bryant fanatic and you have all his jerseys or whether you're someone that just now heard of him for the first time, it's a super sad thing. And yeah, I just wanted to address that. So rest in peace to Kobe and his daughter. It's, a, it, it, it's crazy to even think that that happened and really extremely sad for so many people. So yeah, my heart is out there for everyone that knew him personally or not personally and then his family and then the Lakers organization and everyone so yeah that's it so ending this vlog on a really sad note but life is sad sometimes so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next Tuesday